On that, let's have uh, Mark take the reviews of Nigerians at the stands. Hello, Mark. Good morning. Yes, Mike, how are you doing? I can hear you perfectly. I can hear you loud and clear. And uh, so far, you guys have been talking about the Super Eagles and the uh, setback they had recently at the match. And I must tell you for a fact that uh, there is quite a number of uh, situations here, very chaotic at the stands because everybody is talking about that match and people are having reservations if these Super Eagles will not give us another heart attack come next tournament next year. So, well, on the papers this morning, we have some very intriguing headlines, I must tell you. Uh, right here is, uh, of course, on the sports in Sun, you have Pesero makes excuses for Super Eagles. And that's quite unfortunate. I, I really don't understand what excuses he'll be making for a team that has uh, quite a number of star-studded players that you would expect them to pull off something very interesting. But I really don't understand what this Super Eagles is all about. But let's hope and pray and believe that whatever is going to be happening onward from this moment, it will be fantastic. But while we are still ruining over what happened with the Super Eagles, let's not forget that uh, Argentina also suffered another loss. Talking about the World Cup qualifiers, Messi here says, Messi mad as World Cup hopes is threatened. All right? And we have other headlines here. Of course, Mikel Obi has been training over the week. I remember he's made some very crazy revelations on his podcast, talking about his time at Chelsea and the encounters he had with the managers. Right here, the headline says, How I Ended Up at Chelsea. And you can find that on the page two of the Sporting Sun. And moving forward, we have other headlines here too. On the Sporting Life, Osime makes top 10. Talking about a Player of the Year award for CAF. And this is quite interesting. It's not expected. Uh, it's quite expected because of what he has done for Napoli so far. Canu's record on the line. We don't know what that is all about, but we know for real that uh, whether you like it or not, records will be broken regardless. But I have uh, my two uh, individuals here who are willing to talk to me. I have Imano here with me. And uh, I know he has his own reservations about the Super Eagles, but let's just find out what he has to say. Imano, I know you are a Super Eagles fan. Yeah, yeah. But so far, so good. Do you think Nigeria has hope of qualifying for the World Cup with what you saw at the last time? Yes, I, have, uh, I know that Nigeria must qualify, man. The way the Nigeria is playing now, yes. it's not, it's not properly. The way, the way Nigeria is playing now, yes. it's not make us happy. They will, make, they will play well, let us to know, say, yes, this is the capable of playing the ball. Okay. But if we look at the last match where they played yes, that day, yes. they were supposed to be all those people like 5-0. Now they play draw draw. Do you know that because they don't have the interest or play the ball? They don't That's have interest. That. Okay. That's okay. That. Let me leave you. Let me leave you now. Now, Brown, you heard what he said. He said Nigeria do not have interest. That the Super Eagles, a lot of them, they, they feel too. Some people are saying they feel too big to play for the Super Eagles. Do you do you agree with what you saw that day? Do you think they, they did their best? Well, I will not say that okay. because. Okay. At least we have histories. Okay. The previous people who would believe that have been playing for Super Eagles with all of their heart, yeah. where have they reached? Did any of them win the World Cup? Yeah. Did any, any of them, you know, how far they, have they gone? So I cannot question their integrity or their love for the country. Okay. I say we should tackle the issue the way it is. Mm. That is the management. Okay. That is NFF and the, and the coach. What is the coach record before becoming our coach? Our what has been his record? How long have we used in each of the countries or the uh, clubs he have, he have worked? Mm. So those are the questions. Okay. You know, even I was telling uh, the people the other time that those Lesotho, they are ranked 150 in the world. Yeah. If we select 11 players among, among us here. Okay. We should still beat them 5-0. Mm, mm. Talk less of professional players. Okay. So I think if you are questioning the integrity of, of the players, what about the coach? Because if the player lose a chance, like one-on-one, -on -one and you lose it, is it not the coach's uh, uh, mm. uh, uh, duty to, okay. to replace okay. the player? You have, you have so. Now, finally, before we go, uh, my brother, talk to me. Super Eagles, the coach, which of them is the problem of the Super Eagles currently? Well, the problem of this Nigerian football issue is that Nigerian people, they are collecting bribes. It's not, if, if it is not the bribe, they could have gone to the Enyimba then, Rangers, and pick a players in that place. Because all these boys, they think they, have, they already make money. Yeah. That's why they are playing big, shining, playing big game, playing like a, big boys. Big boys yeah. I think because all these guys that will flow play that very day. They don't deserve to get any one goal in our own home. Yes. We're supposed to give them 7-0. So then today we know that they come and meet the stars. Okay. Because if you look at Nigeria, these Nigerian people, we have many boys. Okay, now, now that eh? you have said this, do you have hope that Nigeria can still qualify? Uh, if Nigerian can come and beg us, okay. the Nigerian boys, yes. 
say that they will use the, all their mind to, to play, play this game, okay. to play for Nigeria. Yeah. Say that I will play for these people because it's my country. Anywhere that you want to do something for your country, bring out your mind and play okay. very well. All right, thank you very so. much. All right, you heard it, and it's, it's all about the Super Eagles this morning. I understand the feeling, yeah? But, of course, let's not forget the fact that uh, Bellingham wins 2023 Golden Boy Award. You know, the guy has been really fantastic for Real Madrid so far. Thank you so much, Mike. I take you guys up now from this moment, and uh, I guess the conversation continues on the Saturday Sports Breakfast. Stay tuned. Peace. Mark Otabo, thank you for that Fantastic, very yeah. excellent report out there at the New Super Stand and getting us the pulse of what Nigerians hilarious. feel about uh, the Super Eagles. We would, would have spent all the time, but you see, I just have to just mention something. If we had taken Sporting Lagos there, they would beat that team. Um, the Lesotho coach took a jibe at um, the Super Eagles, said that um, the home-based players <laughs> are better than these boys that were on the pitch. And I'm like... Growing well, up. Well, uh, look, just next Saturday we'll be having TVC games. But let's Growing not be up. like that. Let's not be like <laughs> that. Okay, You've just made we've me seen, We've seen how Eimba and Co play international games. Okay. Okay. I don't think okay, any okay, of them okay, are better okay. than those that okay. we put on the pitch. Okay. Let me just let you rest. <laughs>